Welcome to the Wandering Word Elves. We have arrived in Barbados, in just outside of Bridgetown, which is their capital city. Uh, roughly, I understand, around 110,000 people. Um, I also understand that it's about a mile to get to the city center on foot. Uh, we don't have the intention of doing that today. Um, what we are going to do from the cruise board is we're going to show you uh, kind of what's around the, the cruise terminal itself. And then we are going on two, uh, to two different things. One of them is called Hunt's Garden. It's about a 30 minute ride into the interior. And the other one is Mount Gay Rum Distillery. And we're gonna go through a tour of that and have some tasting after. So just like uh, what we tend to do now more um, on our previous ports, we are going to actually find a taxi somehow. And we are just gonna independently travel to these places instead of doing it through shore, shore excursions. So we'll keep you updated along the way and uh, come wander with the word else. Wandering, wandering, wandering wardells. Wandering, wandering, wandering wardells. So dream about your next vacation and I will be your guide. And share with friends and hit the like, then ring the bell, subscribe. Okay, it was quite a long walk from our ship, but once you uh, get through the docks, you come into this main building in the cruise terminal with a lot of different shops, including duty-free, all your same standard shops. Okay, coming out of the main uh, cruise terminal building, uh, and shocker, more shops. So we are beelining it, I'm just gonna spin around quick, but we are beelining it directly to a taxi. So we gotta find that. With that being said, so we are going to where we said we were going, uh, to the Hunts Garden, as well as to Mount Gay uh, Rum Distillery. And what we are paying for that trip uh, with the drivers actually going to be waiting there for us is $840 American dollars. Um, and that's it for now. We'll show you some sites along the way. Finally made it to Hunt's Garden. So, and uh, we are at the entrance. Um, we're gonna let you know what it costs, and we're gonna wander around and show you everything. Um, the gentleman, the gentleman's name, um, who actually created this whole thing, is Mr. Hunt. And if we meet him, we are going to uh, ask him some questions. So let's get right into it. Oh my goodness, eh? Look at these, I've never seen these before. for this. I've seen Indiana Jones. This isn't going to go well. Um, this place is something else, else so far. Um, again, I feel like I'm in a bloody jungle of sorts, but if you look right up, 
these trees are just crazy big. We haven't even started really our path through this thing. We just went right in the entrance here um, before something crazy happens, like I said, in Indiana Jones. But this is uh, interesting so far. There is a washroom on property as well, and that's our first stop. Now, when you come into Hunt's flower jungle, um, they will give you a pamphlet. And on the back of the pamphlet is a QR code to identify apparently all of the various plants in the area um, because there are many. The problem is, is that you do need internet in order to access your QR code, which we don't have since we're um, away from the ship. But if you just look down here, this is the um, Icarus spineless um, mambu. Um, Kind of a mix between dandelion and seagrass. Um, no, I have no freaking idea what it is. Let's go. <laughs> oh Little correction about information, as I always have to do, it seems. Um, the first thing you should always check before you start making statements like you need Wi Fi for the QR code is actually check the place that you're at to see if they actually have Wi Fi. So it turns out that they have Wi Fi here, so problem diverted or something like that. Okay, let's go. Um, so I'm not as crazy into flowers, trees, fauna, and all this type of stuff as Michelle is. Um, but I say that with a grain of salt because I've never seen anything quite like this. Um, this is the view from one of the many lookout points. And I'm just going to slowly spin around. And there's paths just literally everywhere to guide you through here. We haven't even gone to the basin of this yet which we're gonna to head to next. And of course, you can hear all of the birds because where there are trees, there are birds. That's what you call tripping yourself. Okay, well, we've finished the garden um, and now we're at Mr. Hunt's house and we're going to try to have a quick drink with him. It's a 150 year old house and this is the man that made this all possible. What? So I think, is this the 150 year old house? I think it is. I'll be honest. It's beautiful, but creepy. <laughs> okay, so we went to Mr. Hunt's house. Unfortunately, he wasn't there, but honestly, my impression, I love this place. For anyone who loves gardening, flowers, gorgeous. Highly recommend. Um, so we are off to our next adventure here in Barbados, so stay tuned. Uh, so we made our long journey back down, I shouldn't say down, I don't think we're going super high up, but uh, away from the center of the island and we are now back on the coast. I'm going to guess we are probably a good five to seven minutes via, uh, via a taxi back to the cruise port. Uh, they tell me it's 20 to 25 minute walk from here. Um, if you did want to come here to Mount Gay Barbados Rum, apparently it's been around since 1703. If you did want to come here from the cruise ship, you can of course walk. If you did want to walk, you would come out of the cruise terminal and you would take a left. Um, it is very warm, so we decided not to walk. The other thing too is we were going to do a full tour and this is very large and apparently the most popular rum on the island. Uh, but the next tour wasn't for about uh, 40 minutes from now. So we decided instead we're going to get a few flights and we're gonna do some samples and probably stay around here for about the better part of an hour, um, having a few drinks, and then we will head back to our cruise ship. So we'll show you what we get when we get it. So 
So we are, uh, again, starting with a flight of various rums that they make here, uh, Mount Gay Rums. And this gentleman bartender ahead of me, which I did not catch his name yet. My name is Rashawn. Rashawn is going to walk us through the four rums that we're going to try. I'm getting very spirited. <laughs> Instead of drunk. <laughs> so, we're going to start from this end. I'll work our way all over again. Okay. We're going to start with the silver. So the silver is a very young, young rum. It's only been for two years. It's been three months. It turns to one of the dark colors right here. And it actually gets that from the time it's in the barrel. So we triple through it to remove that color. And we get this clear rum right here. It pairs well with anything fruity, anything citrus. So it's perfect for cocktails like mojitos, pina coladas, cosmos, daiquiris, you name it. So when you smell it on the nose, then it's gonna put that some citrus notes in there, a little grass notes, it's gonna smell a little harsh on the nose, but when you drink it, it's gonna go down fairly smooth. Party of white rum. Okay, do you wanna try it or do you want me to just slam it? Well, don't, like take half. <laughs> Not bad. I don't normally do uh, rum straight up, but apparently Michelle does. So Eclipse Rum is, a, is aged in an ex bourbon bottles, aged for two to seven years. We're gonna pick up some four of our basic characteristics in the rum, which is almond, vanilla, mocha, and white banana. So give it a small time to in those in there. Like yeah, I do actually. Yep, they give it a nice taste. Pretty good. Pretty good. A lot of people think it smells sweet. Yeah. They also mix this with either a rum or a cold bar, or a rum or a rum and sprite. One of my colleagues calls it a ninja. So Eclipse, Eclipse rum, some sprite, a squeeze of lime. It's great. He yeah. calls it a ninja because it sneaks up on it. So Black Pearl is aged in two barrels, which means it's a double cast blend. It's aged in X whiskey and X bourbon. It's aged for three to seven years in it. X whiskey barrel. You're gonna find some gingerbread in there, you're gonna find some toffee, some lychee, all of those flavors are going to be in this one. This is the closest rum we have to a spice rum. So when you drink it, you're gonna get some of those spicy notes at the back of the palate. It's gonna be very lovely, it's gonna give you a nice hug when you drink it. So give it a try, tell me what you think. I'll do it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take a sip behind the camera because why not? No one has to see my face. <laughs> Definitely spicy. Spicy, right? We got one more to go, and then we're gonna uh, move on to uh, some mixed drinks. I don't know if <laughs> yeah, Michelle showed you. But so I've gotten the basil lemonade, and Michelle got the dragonfly to go next after this next shot. So let's move on to XO. XO stands for extra all or hugs and kisses. When you drink it, it gives you a nice warm hug. If you drink too much, you kiss the floor. <laughs> so this is actually a triple cast blend. This uses aged in three barrels. It's bourbon, it's whiskey, it's cognac. This is gonna be a very smooth rum, very easy to drink. You can have it neat, you can have it on the rocks. If you're not a fan of that, you can also try it with tonic water, soda water, or even coconut water, or even a nice coconut ice cream works as well. Coconut ice cream? Yeah, very nice. Ooh. So give it a smell, you're gonna All pick right. up a little dark chocolate in there. It also pairs well with a nice cigar. Oh, you give it a nice chocolate like that. Let's give it a nice little glass. There's the legs with the rum right there, glass right That is June for one of those days. Wow. You've got a lot left. Yeah, I got to see a picture of you. That's good. That burns. Woo! It's smooth. Woo. It's smooth. <laughs> but I get you. It's got a, a bit of a back end of to her. Cool. All right. That's good. Well. Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. So right behind the uh, bar, after we've had our flight, um, you can see the bar again behind or in front of me. Um, there is a very large open air seating area. 
and um, it's actually really, really nice here. We are gonna go to another spot out front to sit as there's other spots out front uh, with seating area very similar to this. And we're gonna have our next drink, so stay tuned. Um, and the other thing I should mention too, if you actually look uh, right across the street from here, so if you were ever interested in coming here um, and then incorporating a beach day, um, just to get very close to the cruise port, you can see the beach from right across the street. And it is quite extensive. It does go quite a, a ways down. Um, the name escapes me right now, but I certainly will post that uh, as we go through this video. But it is actually not that busy of a beach either, so that's kind of nice. So literally right across the street. Okay, well to summarize our day in Barbados, this is what I truly say. Um, again, to recap, $140 is what we paid on taxis, um, but they did stay in wait. We were by ourselves, so we did get to explore by ourselves, which is kind of nice sometimes. Um, the driver was very informative, so that was nice. Versus sometimes when you get on these tours, I find that the driver just rambles on because there's a whole, and there's a whole bunch of people. You're stuck on other people's time schedules. So I like that part. Um, the flower place, and I'm sorry, I'm not being condescending to it at all, um, was really nice. But I think there's no secret from me that it's, it's not like really my thing, but Michelle wanted to do it. I was happy to do it. And we did see a lot of cool things along the way. Uh, was it worth it doing that? I don't know if it's worth it. If you really love flowers, maybe it's worth it, but it is quite expensive when you add up your taxi and then to enter it, it was $20 a person. Coming over to the rum factory part, I think that would be an amazing thing to do if I was to do this again, because of its proximity to the beach that you could do a rum tour slash beach day and that would be plenty. Um, so we are just gonna finish our drinks here we are going to head back to the cruise ship. We were out, I would say, for about, by the end of this, we'll probably be out for about four hours. And then we're going to head to the pool. So, can't complain. Another fantastic day in Barbados.